I see you. Thank you for submitting this ticket. Let's do it. Let's do it. Unable to log into my computer. This is very, you know, typical ticket that you would see. Hey there, IT. I am trying to log in to my computer, but I'm getting a bad timestamp error. And unable to log in. I also see that my time is incorrect as well. Please help. Huh. Timestamp. This is unable to log into computer. I'm trying to log into my computer, but I'm getting a bad timestamp error. And unable to log in. I see that my time is incorrect. Hmm. So I guess this could happen when the times are not matching your local time and the main controller times i guess this could happen i know this can cause problems with websites so let's say your time and here's my time here on the right let me close this here if if your time here it says here 12 32 p.m uh, and the date here especially time and date uh, you can see that here it's Friday, February 18, 2022. If this is different, if this happens to be different compared to the server, whether it's a domain server or a website, you're going to get a website errors like certificate errors and such. So you would try to go to a website and let me see if I can find one. Uh, website error because of wrong time so let's see hopefully let's see here maybe maybe i'll find oh wow these are there's some specific ones so it'll, it'll be kind of like this it would say that the website is insecure um potential security issues it would be kind of like this. I forget exactly if it would be this one, but you will start getting these errors where the certificate on the website, the security certificate, like this here, you see how Google has a certificate. If it's not correctly matching to your time zone, then it will show up as this, where it will say your connection is not secure because your computer is assuming that there's something wrong with the certificate. So I can see maybe same thing happening with your login computer login and obvious resolution here is to change your system time your you know system time to the correct time and you're saying here also say that my time is incorrect as well so you can obviously go in and change it so you know your clock here so just right click it and then select adjust time and date so make sure that your time zone is selected correctly and then you can set it to synchronize to so you from the server uh, which is time.windows.com it will synchronize your computer to whatever it is and the, or and then make sure your time zone is selected correctly now if this keeps changing that could mean that your computer is losing power and i don't mean power when you unplug it and suddenly power goes out in your house or your you know wherever you have your computers plugged in i don't mean that i mean loses power because of the bios settings are losing power in the sense that they are powered by a battery so inside of your computer your computer bios which is the base system of your computer is powered by a battery in order to keep things in order to keep certain settings always there and here's actually a perfect example can i oh wait i was going to zoom into this i'll zoom into this so you guys can see this battery here on your computer keeps track uh, of saved settings for basic functions what they call post power on self-test whenever you power on your computer your computer does power on self-test and it does it based off of settings that are saved on on the chipset on the chip of the motherboard and that is kept those settings are kept including time and date time and date are also kept saved 
by a battery, this battery here. And if the battery starts to go out, then you may have this problem where the time is being, you know, constantly being switched to the old time. Because whenever the power is lost, when the power is lost here, it reverts to the old system settings that were from the manufacturer. So if your computer was made three years ago, it'll revert to, you know, 2019, right? It'll revert to date and time from 2019. And I can see that possibly causing a problem. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is here, but uh, since you talked about timestamps, let me see if, if bad timestamp error is anything else that I've maybe missed that I'm not aware of. Bad time stamp error login. Let's 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 see what this is. Okay, here it is. A Windows this is from just another website. A bad request time error occurs when logging into Duo authentication. Authentication for Windows logon. If you do see this, indicates your Windows server has connectivity to Duo's cloud service. Okay, so I don't know if this is related to actual Duo. Duo authentication is whenever uh, you are trying to log in to a VPN, right? That's the main reason to use Duo authentication. So this might be related to something to VPN, but you know I don't know here for sure. Sys Adden. Let's go to Reddit here real quick. I want to see what this is. We have do install the, on about 100 Windows 10 laptop that are working from the user's home. The user signs into Windows first and then connects to VPN, which allows, okay, right. So yeah, Duo is used for that, which allows them to sync the time with the main controller. You see, I talked about the main controller here. We found that we have found that if the users leave their Windows laptop running over a long holiday weekend without VPN connected, then the time will get skewed until the user connects to VPN and even takes a good 30 to 60 minutes for time to correct itself. Oh, wow. I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> Enter the newly installed Duo client who seems to be... Okay. So, yeah, it's Duo Authenticator is not liking if this is the same thing. I wish you had specified if this was the same thing. Duo Authenticator app, authentication app. If this is the case for PC, then this is obviously an issue, right? Well, yeah, I mean, this is what he's. <laughs> All right, so authenticator, okay, whatever. Look, I'm not going to get into this because you haven't specified yet, Walid, but thank you so much for submitting this. If if it is issue with Duo Authenticator, then it's something that is just the way it's set up. This is why in my company, we always tell people to reboot their computer at the end of work, at the end of their shift, um, whether it's whenever they were at the office or at home. We tell them, once you're done using your computer, reboot it so these weird issues don't happen. But looks like the issue might be just to wait it out and, and fix it. So I'm going to keep this open. I'm going to say hello, Walid. Um, what? Um, can you please tell me? exactly where you get this error so i was trying to be open-minded here assuming that this was a windows error that i've never seen before bad timestamp but it doesn't appear to be the case most likely i don't know well we're going to wait for Walid to respond and uh if not then we'll get back to it but uh yeah whenever you're connected to vpn or when you're not connected to the VPN, I can see the time getting screwed up or skewed if you're not connected to the main controller. 
for a certain period of time, which shouldn't be the which shouldn't be happening. If I'm being honest, you'll be able just to connect, no problem. But you know, with Duo Authenticator like that being uh, finicky like that, that's definitely a problem.